Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Raiden's Pokemon Sacred Gold Wedlock Challenge. Um, this is a bit of a pre-stinger before the actual meat of the episode. Uh, but since Lacewood died last episode, um, the reason I didn't get a Necrotique encounter before that was I was going to offer that up as collateral for going to catch a Pokemon that I would use for an in-game trade to get the Covenant Orb. Uh, since that is no longer needed, I wanted to come back here and get my Ecruteek encounter. I... I went ahead and I taught Mangrove Headbutt, getting rid of Mudshot. I haven't... I don't think Mudshot is as powerful anymore, and we're getting to the point where it's going to be a lot more helpful to just go for dig most of the time. So, let's see if I can find an encounter here. Well, not if, but, you know, if I can find the right tree. First time. Oh yeah. And Spinarak. Okay. Um, I am okay with that. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to quick ball it. Alright, um, uh, well, if I had to get a poison type, at least this one is a male poison type, so, there's that. Alright, um, oh, I'm looking at the wrong list. Um, I have a perfect name for this little fella. I'm going to call him... Hello. And we will fix the box in a little bit. Alright, I will see you guys in Olivine City. Alright, here we are in Olivine City. Uh, welcome to the, uh, the start of the proper episode. I just wanted to make sure I got my encounter in Ecruteek City. Uh, don't want to leave an encounter on the table. So, uh, as I kind of mentioned, uh, last episode we lost Lacewood and White Pine. Uh, so I had to, uh, I had to pick a new pair. And it was a pretty tough decision, actually. Um, I spent a lot of time thinking about it. I spent multiple hours after I finished recording the last episode thinking about it. And I spent several hours the next day thinking about it, and, well, on and off thinking about it. And I talked with a friend for about 40 minutes, um, and I think we've, co we've come up with a pair that I really like and I'm really excited to use. So, without further ado, let me introduce you to the newest pair on the team, Loblolly the Nidoran female, and Teak, the Remoraid. Um, so, I'm gonna go take a quick look at Tupelo, and I'm also gonna try and explain a bit about how we kind of arrived at this choice. Um, no, I don't want it to possibly. So, ooh, Sassy Sniper. Uh, that's terrific. So, the decision really came down, in my mind, came down to four of the males. I, I settled on Loblolly pretty early on, in, as far as my female, and that really meant that I was kind of looking at these four, at these three plus teak. So, Pecan was my, they don't have, you know... Loblolly counters fighting pretty well, and Ambipom is a pretty darn good Pokemon. Uh, this was another, and these two also were, it counter, uh, some, they counter each other's weakness as well. Um, the problem I ran into with these two is they would share a weakness, uh, whether it's water or 
ice. Uh, and the biggest... I was originally gonna go with Pecan and Loblolly. The problem I had with Pecan was... He can't really switch into anything, and... In this game, I've been having to do a lot more switching than usual. Um... So, I needed something that I could at least kind of depend on to take a hit. And out of all the po male Pokémon I had, the one that could best take a hit and come in on uh, Loblolly's weaknesses was Octillery. And Octillery is nice for another reason, because, you know, we're going to be surfing for a good bit, and... We're going to be running into a lot of water types, so having... And I have nothing on my team otherwise to take care of water types. In fact, I have two weaknesses to water types. Um... And others with pretty low special defense. So I kind of needed something that could take water types. So... Uh, that's kind of how we arrived at Teak. Uh... It seemed like the best compromise. It seemed like the best to work with, and as an added bonus, um, Octillery has an incredible move pool. Uh, frankly, for my money, one of the best of any water type out there. Uh, so I'm really excited. Uh, okay. Yep. Ooh. Um, let's... Okay. Oh boy. Um. Hmm. Uh. I don't know if I want to right now. Um. I would love to see fall capsules at some point. Uh. The first thing I want to do now that I'm in Olivine, I want to find the good rod. Yes. Yes, I would love to to get the good rod. All right. Okay. So, I'm going to put Elm up at the front. And we are going to go fishing and get our encounter for Olivine City right away. And it's a Chincho, a female one, uh, which is terrific. Uh, as always, I am in desperate need for females. Um, I really want to catch this thing in a lure ball, uh, so I'm going to yawn. Wait, this thing's level 30. Okay, I, I was not paying close enough attention. Okay. Um, I should be okay to grass not. Yeah, this shouldn't take, this shouldn't come anywhere close to taking it out. Alright, uh, that should, that looks good enough for me. And with sleep and the, the bonus from Lure Ball, I think we should be able to catch, I think we should get it in the Lure Ball. Alright. One, two, three. Okay, thank goodness. I just, I like having unique Pokeballs. Alright. Uh. Oh gosh, I love, I love Chincho. Uh, and Lantern, especially in a uh, Nuzlocke Wedlock setting. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with the Nick. It's gonna be yet another pine, because guess what? Pines are like 30% of all softwood trees. Um, I'm gonna go with, uh, uh, sugar pine. For no reason other than 
I really like sugar pines. And... Yeah, that's about it. Uh... What? What do you want, Jack? Yep. Yeah, I, I know. I know, Jack. Uh... And this looks like Cameron. Alright. Uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and take a photo. Uh... First one, actually, with the new teammates. Um... And I guess I didn't really talk about it. Um... I did get... Loblolly and Teak trained up to level 31, and I got everybody else trained to level 31. Um, the reason for this... Loblolly learns Toxic Spikes at 31, so... I wanted to make sure that... And Nidorina learns it at a much higher level, and Nido Queen doesn't learn it at all. Uh, so I wanted to make sure I had that. Uh, Teak learns Water Pulse at level 32. Two and and signal beam at level 36, I want to say. Um, it learns it as Octillery as well at like 43. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about whether or not I want to keep Teak as a Remoraid for that long. Um, but I do know that by the end of this episode, we will definitely have Loblolly fully evolved. Okay. Ooh. Uh, let's see what kind of Pokeballs you have. Um. Yeah, I'll take... I'll take five. Okay. Okay. Eh. All right. Um, I guess I want to check, okay, look, I want to check out, uh, Sugar Pine real quick. Um, see if it's Volt Absorb or Water Absorb. Okay, Water Absorb, and I want to say that's a special attack lowering nature. Um, oh no, it's a defense lowering nature, uh. So, honestly, not that much better. Um... It's- it's fine. Like, it's still very usable. It's just, Bolt Absorb is an infinitely better ability. Uh, especially on a, uh, a lantern. Alright. Alright, man. Okay. Today, uh... We gotta take on the lighthouse. And, uh... Yeah, I, I, I'm not looking particularly forward to this. I've always remembered the lighthouse as being a little bit of a grueling area. What are you doing here? Glitter Lighthouse reminds me a lot of Sunny Shore City. Oh, hi, you must be a trainer from Johto, huh? There's something about you. You remind me of a trainer who once recharged my passion for battle. <laughs> it's a shame you aren't challenging the Sinnoh Sh League. You know, somehow you've cheered me up. Let me give you a gift as thanks. Um, let's not charge beam. Oh, ooh. Yes, I will abs- Uh, Thunder Wave is absolutely something I will make use of. Okay. All right. Let's climb on up. Okay, if I'm remembering right, this guy has a Growlithe. Um... Oh, I guess I should also say, I got into a random wild encounter that plucked off my, uh, my Citrus Berry on Mangrove, so not thrilled about that. Um... You know what? Let's go for Ponderosa here. Now that she's a Laron, I want to get get her in a lot of battles. Oh, this is no place for playing, dude! I have a 400-pound metal behemoth walking behind me. What part of playing do you think I'm doing? Oh yeah, this is Noctowl guy. Ooh. Um. I don't think Rock Tomb is going to knock out, 
Especially not now. Um, let's stall. <laughs> uh, yeah, good call there. Um, oh boy! Let's see how much this does. I'm calling. Oh, I was about to call two damage. I'm really, really wish I'd done that sooner. Okay. I don't think this is gonna take out. Not. Oh wow, not even close. Uh, but maybe n now we can outspeed. Oh. Okay. Confusion. Um, let's protect, because I think this is the last turn of Reflect. And there we go. Oh, come on! Okay, well, it works out okay. Oh, wow, that, that did a lot of damage. That did a whole six damage this time. Gosh, what a useless bird. Like, no offense if you like knocked out. It's just a really boring and useless bird. <laughs> Arcanine! Um... I'm gonna keep battling uh, and kind of see what I can bait out from it. Oh man, there you think it's Diamond and Pearl Sprite? Really? Ah, oh, shoot, game's glitching up. Ooh, um... Definitely want to get up a rock, too. Definitely need this thing. Ah. Ah. Yikes. Okay. Yikes! That, that hit quite hard. Alright. Uh... Let's protect. Okay. I do kind of want this thing to actually go for a roar at some point. I just need to figure out what's going to be my safest way to get um, to get Elm in. And I think that's going to be right now. I mean, I... I don't like that Elm has... Ah. Uh, that's not who we wanted to see dragged out. Uh. But we can make it work. Thank you for resetting Intimidate for me. Alright. Alfred. Ah, I can see now you're serious. Well, now that we've made each other's acquaintance, shall we trade phone numbers even in this blackout? Lovely. Now I shall be able to call you at any time. I may have requests from from a good friend of mine. His name is Bruce. Alright, um, just give me one moment. This, this happens with Heart Gold Soul Silver ROMs. I'm not a fan of it, but it seems kind of inevitable. It's just one of those things I have to put up with. Alright, I'm... Well, I guess I've been back for a couple seconds now. Alright. I need to go buy some more Moomoo -moo milk at some point. Um... I'm trying to remember who else is... Or who's up next. I want to say it's a sailor. So I think I'm going to probably go with Elm. Okay. Men of the sea are always spoiling for a good fight. Wow, that was really, really, really bad voice. I am so sorry, Huey. Oh wait, where's Dewey and Louie? Um, hmm. I want to get this thing asleep as soon as possible. Uh... 
Oh boy. Is it is it buff knockoff? No, it is not. Okay. I forget how heavy Crawdont is. I just assume at this point, unless I know it's heavy, that tri attacks gonna Wow. Oh gosh! Ah! Uh, uh. Oh that was that was really scary. Not gonna lie. Uh, I, I really thought I was going to lose Elm there. Okay. Now we really needed that critical hit. Nice job, Elm. Okay. Ugh, I lose. Okay. Oh, well, that's the first time I've lost in a while. Hey, give me your phone number. It'd be fun to battle, so I'll call you when I get stronger. Um, I don't know if I want you to get stronger, dude. That cramp hammer nearly just took out my tug of kiss. Um, I'll... Consider your offer. Maybe we'll battle again. Maybe. Very, very long time out. Okay, um... Let's keep going. I don't remember who that is. And I can't deal with the glitch. Okay, so this is the Bird Keeper, uh, which we will absolutely want Ponderosa for. Um, trying to think. Other than Staraptor, is there anything that would have a ground or a fighting type move? Um. Uh, Doduo doesn't learn Jump Kick until later. Uh, Farfetch'd isn't a fighting type. Pidgeot doesn't get anything useful. Noctowl is garbage. Swallow doesn't get a fighting type move. Uh, knock on wood, but we should be good. Hey, that rhymed. What are you doing here? Just a standing dog. I suggest you leave. All right, Theo. Oh boy, this could be fun. Um, let's see what this thing's gonna go for before I miss a rock tomb. Ah! Oh no. Okay, that we can live with. Um. Okay, so yeah, that's. It's not really going to matter too much in the grand scheme of things. Oh, wow. That hit so hard. I forget how strong Laron is sometimes. Like, not even Agron. Like, Laron It's pretty darn good. Honestly, I just love this whole evolutionary line. It is... It's one where I really like all three stages. Like, Aaron is nice and cute. Laeron is, is, for me, a pretty awesome and fun-to-use middle-stage Pokémon. And Agron is just amazing. Um, probably my favorite Steel-type, actually. So... I'm just running back to heal, and probably grab some super potions, so I don't have to keep burning through Moo Moo Milks. Okay. Um... I got another package. Huh. Okay, so we got dark resist berries, which aren't really going to do any good. Uh, yeah, those are completely useless. Okay, thanks, Mom. Um, ah, uh, that should be good. And, um, I can't. You know what? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll wait till later to buy repels. 
But I seriously can't buy photo stores yet. That's a darn tootin' shame. All right. Um, kind of want to give these two a shot. I just don't remember what she uses at all. Um, so I'm going to lead Sequoia. I know, I, I've, <laughs> with Headbutt now, I've kind of turned Mangrove into a bit of an HM mule. Hey, Jasmine is this city's gym leader. I intend to bring her back with me. Nobody better get in my way. All right, well, where are you bringing her back to? Uh, Connie. Uh, uh ooh. Wait, no, it's not fairy type. Uh, it's just strong as all get out. Okay, um. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, I can have some fun with that. And wow, this must be a thick fat Azumarill. Because that did a shockingly small amount of damage. Ah, uh, boo! I really thought about going for payback last turn. Uh, decided probably would just be better to play it safe with wing attack. Okay, cool. And that's going to be... Neato Queen. Uh, because we have a Moonstone, and there is no reason for me to keep it as a neat arena. Other than Editor Raiden is really not going to like me. You know, immediately going from one evolution to another. Alright. Okay, Mom. Hush. I've got to I need to get my my dinosaur rabbit. All right, let's go, Lob Lolly. Evolving again already. Oh gosh, what a beast! I I love Nido King and Nido Queen. Oh, they're both so cool. And actually, um, let's see. Uh, do I want to teach it Ice Beam yet? Um, yeah, it wouldn't hurt to have that. Uh, all right, Lob Lolly. Let's, yeah, um, I guess this is as good a time to mention, as good a time as any to mention, um, I did some EV training for Loblolly and Teak. I figured, you know, if I have to grind both of them up 20 levels or so, I might as well make the most out of my training. Um, so I trained them in, I didn't like fully EV train them, so they've still got plenty of room to grow, but I did like, 120 some odd EVs in special attack, uh, 70 some odd EVs in speed, and a bunch in HP. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I, I, I totally want to go for some thunderous level strats here. Um, I'm going to take that off of you and give it to Teak. Uh,. Yeah, I think overall it's going to be better if I get Octillery sooner versus later. Okay. Um. What do I think you're going to use? Gentleman, whatever your name is. Um, shoot, I'm not using a super potion on that. Sorry, Sequoia, I'd love you, but I'm also a cheapskate. 
Okay. Um, yeah, I don't see any reason not to. I travel the world to train my Pokemon, now I wish to battle you. Alright, whatever. Uh, Preston. Well, I led in correctly. Um. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Um, I do have to watch out for Energy Ball or Solar Beam if I go into Mangrove. Um, but I think we should be okay. All right, quick attack. Um, let's go for Dig. Oh boy, Confuse Ray. Oh, this is gonna be a really fun battle, y'all. Okay. Well, we got part one of Dig done. Wow, it's just going for quick attack? Oh, nice! I was convinced we were gonna hit ourselves in confusion there. And we get a nice, clean Oko. So thank you, Mangrove. Uh, that is greatly appreciated. Um, yes, we're gonna stay in. We are not going to dig, though. We're gonna yawn. Okay, so that was three to, okay, so seven damage. And watch ourselves punch us in the face. Yep. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! <sighs> really, Mangrove? Oh, we proc our Citrus Berry at least, so there's that. Okay, so it was dealing 7v4, so max... Max critical hit. Uh... We should be okay. Oh, that that's not gonna be fun. Okay, 3 damage. Okay, at least now we're not having to worry about confusion. Um, I'm going to dig, because I don't really want to tr take di that much damage. Or have that happen to me. Oh. The joys of facing poison types. That's another nice thing with, uh, with Loblolly is... You know, that, at least with her, I don't have to worry about getting poisoned. I have to worry about all the other status ailments, but I can at least say, yeah, I'm not going to get poisoned. Which, I think for a Nuzlocke is probably the big one. Okay. Oh, I must train some more. Really? Um. Wait, no, I have... 90% certain I have Petcha Berries. Yeah. I'd be insane not to have a Petcha Berry. Okay, maybe not insane, just really, really reckless. Okay, now we can use some Super Potions. I forgot how groovy the Lighthouse music is. Oh, sorry. Bump my mic there. Um, okay, so you've still got quite a bit, and let's go get some candy. Oh, what's this? Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, we could use that on, uh, Sequoia. I totally was blanking on your name. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I, I don't blame you there. Yeah, we're, uh... We're getting a better look. Okay, so, Sailor Dude. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna put Elm back up front. I... I want to use Loblolly, where she has Thunderbolt, but... You know, I, I gotta be responsible... 
Uh, oh man, that, that, that is seriously worrying, Kent. Okay, Nito Queen could have taken that. Okay, so somebody's caught on to the let's use protect to stall out stuff. And, oh, that, I think, did more than I was expecting it to. Okay. Phew. Aqua Jet? Huh. That also did more than I expected it to. Okay. So that's one down. Thankfully. And the Barb. Yeah, I really should have used Nito Queen for this. Oh, this guy would be amazing at doubles. Just protect. One, two, three. All right, let's see what kind of crazy stuff we can do with Tri Attack. Oh! <laughs> we get the freeze! <laughs> Uh, that one's always the most satisfying with Tri-Attack, because it's only, like, a 7% shit. Okay, 6.6666666667 chance, but, you know, we'll, we'll call it 7%. We don't have any statistics majors watching this. If you are a statistics major and watching this, um... Please don't come after me. Okay. I think now we should we can use Lob Lolly. Um, and I need to give you an item. Um, you don't really need that right now. Um, wow, I need to get some better held items. Um, well, let's... Do the old raid in default and just give it a citrus berry. And actually, I guess I need to give Mangrove another citrus berry. Probably should also check on my berry pots. I know I'm stalling. Sue me. Actually, please don't. Uh, that I that wouldn't be fun. Okay. Uh, let's water my plants. And hopefully tomorrow I'll have some berries. All right. Oh, all right. What are you holding, Lob Lolly? Is it a flower? Shimmering fire. How on earth can you hand over fire? Okay. Well. Let's go. Pretty high up here. Bird Pokemon are in prime form. Yeah, you know what I have? Dennis. Oh, sweet. I get to beat down a guy with... Oh, even better. I get to beat the crud out of a Swablu. Ice Beam. Oh, this is why I love Nido Queen and Nido King so much. Because they've got... They got Bolt Beam, Earth Power, Flame Thrower, and a whole slew of other crazy moves. Um, I guess I should say, as to where I got the TMs, I did a lot of gambling at the game corner. Uh, not gonna lie, that was probably a third of my time grinding. <laughs> was trying to get 24,000 game corner coins, cause, but... I ended up with two each of Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and Flamethrower, which is very satisfying. Uh, okay, sweet. We're going to have an evolution. Okay, and this is the big decision. Um, you know, wait. I don't need lock-on. I can... You, I can keep both and then decide later which one I don't want. And Staravia. Okay. Um. Oh no, you lowered my attack. 
that I didn't intentionally train, what am I ever to do? All right. Oops, they <laughs> He said that so matter of fact. All right. Teak is going to evolve now. And I think this episode now has the record for most evolutions this series. So, uh Yay. Yay me. All right. Uh, this is cool. I've I've never actually used an artillery like anywhere. Um now, very important order of business. Um, so I didn't realize that Octillery learns Ice Beam by level up. So I don't know if I'm going to teach it Ice Beam because I am a hoarder. But I am going to teach it Flamethrower because that is so satisfying. Um, yeah... It's a tough call, Bubble Beam or Water Pulse. Um, and that is a nice special attack stat. Um, even though I did train Teak in, in a little bit of speed, I think Water Pulse is ultimately going to be a bit more effective. Uh... I know, I'm fretting over 5 base power and confusion or speed drop. Okay, I think this is the last... Nope, not the last one. Well, this seems like as good a time as any to give Teak a starring role. And, uh... Hmm, where did I put it? Oh, Shoot, do I not have any walking berries in- Oh, right, they're all growing. Hmm. Well. Shoot. I guess there's only one thing to do. Oh, I swear. Citrus berry is gonna probably be the biggest m meme of this. All right. I sure hope you're glowing with health, because it, it's about to be your first battle, Teak. Say those are both kind of strong, how about you? Um, I'm one of those two. I'll, I'll let you decide which one. Ooh! Oh, it's, it's Politoed! And why didn't I teach Thunderbolt? Nice job, Raiden. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, um, okay. I don't know what it's going to go for, but I need to get the parish count out of the way. I'm kind of hoping it's going for protect. Um, that honestly would have been just fine. Um, I'm going to go for a thunderbolt. Because Bob Lolly should. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm going to do. Uh. Just switch back out. <laughs> wow, this poor Polly dude. I feel kind of bad for it. That was just. Really, really unfortunate. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, mother, you you bought something for me? All right. I'll, I'll pick it up later. I'm kind of busy right now, Mom. Gosh, why does Mom have to call so often? Um. Yeah, no, I'm going to teach. Octil I'm gonna teach Octillery Thunderbolt right now. 
Wait, Octillery can't learn Thunderbolt? Huh. Oh, it's Charge Beam. That's the one it learns. Well, and like a few other grass moves, but I don't have any of those. So we're going to have Loblolly. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm up to a battle. Roberto. Oh, boy! Hee <laughs> hee! Let's absolutely destroy this wingle. Oh, that... Oh, what a beautiful sound. When it's, you know, striking my opponent. Not as much me. Um, Machoke. Uh, yeah, let's switch, because I don't... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much this Machoke is doing. Uh, and we got Psybeam, so... We can hit it decently hard. Okay, I was not expecting that. I was expecting, like, a two, three-hit KO. I was not expecting Octillery to get a one-hit KO. Um, I guess that serves me right for doubting the power of Octillery. Um, I really don't want to have to battle Jasmine, but just in case I do, I'm going to put Mangrove up front. Actually, no, Loblolly would be... Loblolly Teak would be better. For whatever reason, I, I always think she's an electric gym leader. Uh, Pokemon kept the sea lit, but it's suddenly gasping for air. I understand there's a wonderful pharmacy in Seanwood, but that's across the sea, and I can't leave Amphi unattended. You know, this Ampharos got the plague, so, you know, gotta stay where it is. Okay. Alright, nothing to see here, just riding down an elevator with my dinosaur rabbit. Okay. Uh, whatever. All right. Cool. We're now done with the lighthouse. Uh, and without too much trouble. Um, that second trainer gave me a scare. It's darn crawdon. Uh, that Parish song almost became really nasty. Uh, yeah. I guess let's go... I guess the best way to do this... I just want to get my encounter here. Um, and we're totally fishing. Wait, shoot. I should should have put uh, Teak up front. Oops. Well, um... It is not that. Uh, Staryu is genderless, so I cannot catch it. Um. Uh, I don't know what else I could get here. But, we'll see. Um, it does- Staryu doesn't count as any sort of an encounter- Ah! No, uh, well... At least I get to count it as a duplicate for later areas. I'm not even sad. I'm just disappointed. Finneon is the and Luminion are the kind of Pokemon you forget exist, and then you forget that you forgot about them, and so on and so forth. And why we have Finneon and Luminion is beyond me. Uh, I'm going to name you after another pine. I'm going to call you... Wait, no. That's my other list. 
Um, oh, this one's perfect. Okay, cool. It will fit. Uh, I'm going to call you Rubber Wood. All right, now let's go reorganize my box. Because we... I always seem to pick the wrong... Wrong box. Ugh. Why couldn't you have been female? Black Storm Drain. I'm pretty sure that's completely useless. Yeah, because that lowers special defense. And if I'm remembering right, this is Gen 4 Storm Drain, so it's garbage. Okay. Well, that was fun. Not really, but, you know, I'm gonna say it was. That was a really delayed music transition. Um, okay. Oh! Oh, sweet! Ooh, um... Yes, I can absolutely use that. Um... The other thing I know I need to find at some point, I need to... I need to find some love disc, because I, I took a look, and the mover learner is in Cianwood City. And if there's one move I am going to absolutely reteach, I'm going to reteach Air Slash. On, well, Air Slash and probably Aura Sphere on Elm. And probably some other moves as well. Um, I haven't decided. Uh, but if you know where to find Love Disc, let me know. Because um, I need. Now that I have the good rod, I can go beat them up and, you know, steal their scales. Thank you, Haunch Crow. Anyways. We're going to call it good for this episode. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope it was enjoyable. And I'll see you next time. Uh, anything? Don't run away from me like that. Okay, Octillery is interested in my footprints. Probably because it's never actually had feet. It just has tentacles. Actually, I think it only has six tentacles. Oh no. Oh no. I, I, I need to get going, be otherwise I'm going to think too much about how Octillery, the octopus, only has six tentacles. Alright, uh, thanks again for watching, and have a good rest of your day!